Uh, greetings, welcome back to our revision session. In this particular one, we are discussing grade 11 Euclid in geometry, and uh, we are particularly focusing on the turn code theorem, proving the turn code theorem. Now, the theorem that says that the angle between the tangent to a circle and the code drawn from the point of contact is equal to the angle in the alternative segment. That is the, the theorem that we would like to, to prove. So in our diagram, we are given a circle with the center O. The angle that we want to show here, we want to prove that angle CBD. So in this diagram, the tangent is line A, B, C. Now, the code is line BD. So this angle here, is the angle between the code and the tangent. Then the angle in the alternative segment is angle E. That is the angle that we are referring to. So now to prove that these two angles are equal to each other, we have to do some construction first. The construction that we do is we draw a diameter from point B passing through the center. Important for us is that we draw a, a, our diameter from the point where the tangent is touching the circle. So the tangent ABC is touching the circle at point B, which means we're going to connect point B to the center of the circle up to the circumference. This point here, you can label it anything you want. I labeled F, you can label B, you can label anything, but the, the, the thinking is that we construct a diameter from the point of contact between the circle and the tangent up to the circumference. Then from there, we construct another line going to the angle in the alternative segment. So we need a line that goes to point E. Now, the two lines that we have drawn in this diagram, at point E, they create an extra angle. There are now two angles at point E. So one angle is angle E1, one angle is angle E2. We label those two angles for convenience uh, purposes. Then at point B, we have the same situation. On the side where the angle that we are working with is, which is angle BDC, we now have two angles. We label those angles angle 1 and angle 2. So at point B, we have angle B1 and angle B2. Then after that, we now can begin our proof. What we need to notice here is that the line that we constructed is a diameter. So, and we know from other theorems that a diameter and a tangent are perpendicular to each other. Therefore, it means the two angles that are at point B combined, their total is equal to 90 degrees. The reason is a tangent is perpendicular to the radius. Also, the angles at point E are also equal to 90 degrees because angle E is an angle in a semicircle since our line that we have drawn is a diameter. So E1 plus E2, they equal to 90 degrees. Then we now notice something here. If you look at the diagram that I'm highlighting in green here, it shows us angles in same segment. So what it means is that the angle at point E1, the angle E1 and the angle uh, B1, those two angles are equal to each other because they are angles in same segment. Now, if B1 and E1 are equal, yet B1 plus B2 is 90 degrees and E1 plus E2 is 90 degrees, now, if these two angles here are equal to each other, it follows that these two here are also equal to each other. So that is a conclusion that we now make. Therefore, angle E2 and B2 are equal. And E2 and B2 are the angles that we are proving. So we can now say, therefore, CBD is equal to BED. And that proves the theorem that the angle between the tangent to a circle and the code drawn from the point of contact is equal to the angle in the alternative segment.
So this is examinable. All we need to do is to prove, is to study it, and to know it enough to be able to do it in an exam. That's about it for now. Thank you.